everyone, I just wanted to show you my truck. So this is my beautiful <clears throat> blue Toyota Tacoma truck. It's always been my dream truck. And actually I call it Angelica. It's definitely been my angel on wheels. And it's uh, got me through a lot of moves and I've seen a lot of organ in it. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I store it at the storage, uh, RV storage place. And I'll show that in the next clip. But I have to decide whether I'm gonna keep it or let it go. But it's definitely, gosh, I just, I can't say enough about this truck. It's just been wonderful. All right, so just want to share it with you guys and I'll talk to you in the next clip here. Hey everybody, this is my new parking space that I have for my truck and my van. And I just want to show you this um, because if anybody says that a woman might not be able to handle to drive a van, <laughs> um, this just pr proves that we definitely can. We can handle it. I got this new space, so I really basically have to uh, back it in right in between this trailer and this truck so it can be done. <laughs> and mind you, I don't have a... Uh, camera you know I don't have a backup camera so this is all done by my mirrors and then the full mirror and then there's those little round smaller mirrors that allow you to see um, but it's it's I'm so proud of what I can do with this van and this is the space over here that I have to wiggle it and back it in there so it's not too wide and then of course if there's a trailer here it's going to be a little bit more difficult but I'm pretty confident I'll be able to handle it. It's a little tight, but I've been driving my truck that's about 17 and a half feet long for over 10 years. So this is like three and a half feet longer than that. So it's a piece of cake. But anyways, I just wanted to show that. I'm, I get to save money and I'm so excited. I got this space right now. And, uh, but anyway, so that's, that's my new, narrow <laughs> spot for it but i i'm so proud i can handle it <laughs> all right so women out there don't be thinking you can't handle vans it can be done all right we're going to talk about the mechanical stuff here next all right so now we're going to talk about the the um issues that i've been having with the van with the clunking so they had no answers for the clunking so it's really bizarre they thoroughly looked underneath that the only thing that they came up with that needed to be done is and i might have to look at a paper just because so i can remember um, everything but so they repacked the wheel bearings really felt that that was something that needed to be done and and that and i think so because i know someone out there that has an explorer and they had to have theirs done um, and theirs had less mileage than mine. So that didn't surprise me that that needed to be done. And then there was a, they found a, um, uh, an issue in a transmission mount. So they, it was cracked and some, I don't know, some other things going on there. So they had to redo that. And then a lot too long ago, I had to have the gasket, I think, redone there. And then I also put in, uh, you know, actually a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff in, in this van so far and the motor in. I've had all the fluids flushed, uh, changed, you know, just thoroughly all kinds of maintenance stuff, just up to par, making sure everything was good. So I'm pretty confident that everything there is in tip top shape. And the only thing is the clunking. I mean, they just don't have any answers for me. And then I took off and I drove and I test drove it and I drove around a little bit and I only heard it once, a little slight clunk, but of course it wasn't doing a lot of the clunking before I took it in. That's just the way, you know how that is. It was doing a lot and then all of a sudden it's not doing it. So it wasn't, it's not doing it right near the time that I had to take it in and they're not hearing it either. So it's one of those things I might not get any answers, we'll see. But one of the things that they said that I should have done is have the wheels uh, rotated and balanced so that that's going to get done tomorrow I have an appointment um, at one to have that done with one place and then I'll discuss the clunking thing if they have any ideas about it there and then I have uh, another appointment on Friday with another place to discuss the front end as well and maybe discuss alignment um, it's just a place I trust for the alignment. So I'm going to have that done and checked there. So between those next two eyes, 
of a place, <laughs> you know, if nobody has any idea about the clunking, so that means three different places, then I've done all I can do. And, and, but the one place I went to today, they thoroughly looked underneath there and they did not see anything underneath there they felt was unsafe. Um, they said everything was good. So I have to trust that and take everything one day at a time after the next two days. So if I hear something different, I'll let you guys know, but you know, if, if everything stands the same, then I won't do another video about it. I think well, I'm just good to go. I'm just going to trust it and see what happens as, as time goes on and with my trip and hopefully it'll be maintenance free. Okay. So that's how I stand there. And then uh, great news, I got scheduled for my solar, definitely scheduled October 26th. So I'm really excited about that when I come back from my trip, um, that I will have that done pretty soon. And also I'm going to have my, uh, my fan replaced from one way to two ways. So I'm working on that. I think that's really going to help me you know, staying in here and traveling in it and living in it. And I, I got to have a two way. There's just no way I could do everything with a one way. Uh, so I'll be working on that. And then that's kind of where I stand right now. Everything's good. And, and, um, yeah, so, uh, I've got the van today, but it's getting dark. And by the time I did a couple errands, but still, so the Reflectix reveal will still be, you know, when I get all this maintenance stuff done. So probably Friday or Saturday. So um, it's just too dark and, you know, it just wouldn't show very well right now. So I want it to be in the daylight. All right. So, um, and I won't have the van a whole lot in the next couple of days. So we'll just do it then. All right. So I'm going to get busy back on my van. I've got it here. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning in here and start getting some things maybe a little bit of things that maybe that i can do in here without worrying about the people having the van right now and but i need to get some things cleaned and washed and you know just kind of get set up and then work more with the stuff in the house that i have going on all right so that's the latest and um all right oh no no answers for clunking <laughs> all right so everybody have uh you know by the time you see this maybe great night or great day <laughs> for the next day and i'll talk to you guys with the reflectix reveal all right talk to you later love you guys bye bye